should you buy this camping cook set from Aldi? Is it a good deal? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain what problem I'm having with it. Show you if this Aldi Adventure Ridge camping stove set is any good. We're going to look through what you get in the box. If you're in Aldi at the moment and you've seen this in the middle aisle, is it a good purchase? You get three bits of equipment here. I'm going to compare it overall with what else I've got. I've done a separate video, what I prefer and how it works for me. But here you're going to see an overview of how well this one performs and also if this is the best set to pick up from Aldi or should you look on Amazon and buy something else so this pot and pan set is basically a three system set is built nice and lightweight so it is good for camping however you can get more lightweight options depending on what you're cooking and how many people you're cooking for if it's just one person I don't think you need this set it's too big but I do like that it comes with a, a type of frying pan so if you're doing like an omelette or you want to I don't know, have a toast, but have it on a pan fried toast, it may be an option. You get these little pots and pans here. And actually, if you're living at home or you're camping or you're moving around a lot, these might be a good idea if you're just uh, between houses or you're, you're like a student accommodation or something. So you don't want to have really big pots and pans, but you like to cook. So I found that this stand up while do cooking, the frying pan is very good. The handles are sturdy and overall they feel like a good construction. I think at the... Aldi I paid like 17 pounds for three of these sometimes they go cheaper and they have a better deal on overall they feel like uh, they can handle some weight the main thing here is are you cooking on a stove or a cooker or what type of situation are you cooking on or are you cooking on an open fire the handles are far enough away from the the main uh, base of the pots to actually avoid them melting I normally use this small gas canister with a small mini stove because we do camping so we don't want to carry too many big things you'll see what the problem here is and why I don't like these when you take them out you have to hold them on or get a bigger uh, stove a lot of these are a little bit heavy and the bigger pot definitely did not hold on but I'll be worried about putting food in here and having it topple over. The frying pan did not stay at all. Maybe if it had a little bit of weight in there it might be okay. So what do you think? Is this something that you should be considering if you're doing camping? Maybe you want something a little bit smaller or even just get a bigger stove. Get like the burner. You'll see this is how much space it occupies below the pan. And these pans aren't very heavy and they're from... Uh, well they call it a camping cooking set i'll show you a quick overview of the size of them so overall there's the weight of all of them just under over half a kilo so 600 ish grams they come with lids so that's one plus side of these and i am thinking about maybe just using the frying pan section of this and not all of the pots because the frying pan can come in quite handy and you can use that as part of another set however i have got those other uh, mess tins the billy can type situation which work very well so what do you think? What are you using? Let me know in the comments and I might put a link to something similar to this. So you can check this out and that will be in the, the description of the video. But here's another video for you to check out where I actually compared these against some other pots and pans that I use. And you can see what I actually use. Hopefully this helps you if you're on this journey. Definitely worth considering getting a good set.